So what table fits in the fridge? A vegetable. <laughs> hmm. Perfect. Hello there, broskies. Erkin back here with another early sneaker review. And on today's episodes, we are having a look at the Air Max 97 Terrascape. So straight away, I've got to say, Nike have been doing a great job with the Terrascape line. The Terrascape Pluses and of course the Terrascape 90s have been something very special. There are some things I wish they did change and there are some things I wish they changed with this pair too. But before we get ahead of ourselves, let's take a look at the box. Now the Terrascape line does come under Nike's Move to Zero initiative. So the box itself does come in your Move to Zero standard one. Now the product sticker itself does say, Air Max Terrascape 97 and the official colorway is Summit White and Light Iron Ore. Nike's playing Scrabble again with the names, like honestly, who makes it up? Light Iron Ore. <sighs> Just sounds like a Pokemon. But in terms of the 97 Terrascapes, these are due to release later on this year and there's not really been an official word. Rumor has it, it might be next month, but don't take my word for it. Now these should be retailing for around £165 when they do drop. And yes, it is expensive, but that's sort of the norm now when it comes to the Air Max 97. But when these finally do drop, I will leave some purchase links down below, so hopefully you can grab yourself a pair. Now as far as I've seen, there are two other colorways to this model, and that black pair, I'm starting to wish I'd grab that one to be honest. It does give me those Zoom 950 vibes though, but it does look pretty cool. The other pair I'm not too sure about, I don't really think the colours go too well, it sort of reminds me of a Buzz Lightyear action figure. Don't ask why, it just does. Now this pair though, if you are going for a pair and you're thinking about the sizing, well, you've come to the right place. This pair does fit so differently to the 97 OG, and I guess it is kind of a good thing. Because of the different materials on the upper, they don't fit nowhere near as narrow as the 97 OGs. And it's definitely good news for those wide footers, but long story short, these are a true to size fit. Now the moment you've been waiting for, stick the kettle on, two sugars please, because we are about to take a look up close and personal. Now the upper in itself is totally different to the OG 97. Unfortunately, this sneaker doesn't have as much 3M on it as the OG. The only 3M panel is the pull tab at the top of the tongue, and that's it. And trust me broskies, I'm as gutted as you are. But moving on to the mud guards here, and they have switched it up quite a bit. Towards the forefoot, we've got that sort of plastic sheet, which does look pretty cool. It's got that sort of golf ball look. Now the mid panels here are of this mesh, and it adds a lot more breathability to the shoe. And you can sort of see slightly through it. So if you wore black socks, you would defo see it. Now moving up a layer, we have that sort of lining that does look more stitched than the rest of the shoe. I guess that's sort of fusing the whole upper together. And just on the layer on top of that, we do have that nylon mesh, which does come in that translucent style. And then we've got those two waves that go all around the shoe, which does give it the hint of the OG styling. Now the only Nike swoosh on the upper is the actual gray one towards the back on the lateral side, which does come in this textile type material. It feels a bit weird though, not seeing two Nike swooshes on the sneaker, but you know, it is what it is. Now the lacing does come with that 97 hidden lacing system that Nike call it. And instead of the 3M that keeps the laces down, we have that felt type material. Now the laces themselves literally look like candles and I'm not exaggerating. They're very rough, but at the same time, they do work with the shoe. Now the tongue does come in this nylon style mesh. And then we have that Nike font just on top of the tongue. And then we've got that pull tab at the top, which I have mentioned is actually reflective. Now the sock liner and cushioning to the ankle collar is nowhere near as padded as the original. It is a lot more lighter, but at the same time, it isn't that bad in terms of comfort. There is a little bit of cushioning on the inside of the ankle collar. And in terms of the feel on the actual ankle, it is better than 97 OG. I feel like the OG is sort of cut into your feet a little bit too much. Now the insole does come in this recycled look to it. And then we've got the Terrascape branding at the back with that Nike recycled pinwheel. Now moving on to the heel counter, we've got that pull tab at the back with the Terrascape branding stitched in. But this is the part of the shoe that I wished Nike did differently. Now I know Nike do claim this is made with at least 20% recycled materials, so they had to put it somewhere. 
But bruh, why didn't you pull it on the outsole? Why did you have to pull it just on top of the air unit? This is exactly what put me off with the Terrascape Pluses. It just makes it look a lot more cheaper than it should. But of course, we've got the Nike grind on the midsole just above that classic 97 air unit. But the outsole does come in that speckled look, but just not as much, with different shades of grey and the Nike Terrascape branding towards the back. Right, what are we thinking so far, broskies? Comment down below. Are these tickling your fancy? Or are these an absolute miss? And of course, we are deciding together anyway, whether these are a buy or a buy. Now the Terrascape so far are really like Marmite. The only ones that I haven't really had a problem with is the Air Max 90. And that's because I think the execution was exactly spot on. What they did with the recycle panels on the shoe was very well hidden and I weren't mad at it one bit. But this pair and the Terrascape Plus, I feel like it's too much in your face and it gives the sneaker a cheaper feel. But if I am comparing it to the 97 OG, these are a lot more breathable, a lot lighter, somewhat more comfortable. And I know a lot of people didn't like the 97 because of how narrow they actually are. But with this pair, you're not gonna have that problem at all. Personally, I haven't really been mad at the 97s in terms of the narrow fit. Once you break them in, they're all good to go. Of course, different strokes for different blokes. It all comes down to what you like. One more thing though that I can sort of nitpick is the lack of 3M on this shoe. I'm such a sucker for some 3M. So I was pretty sad to see that, but I guess if I wanted that 3M, I'd just get the OG. But regardless of my nitpicks, I'm still a fan of this shoe and I'm so excited to see what Nike do in terms of the colorways. And I will try and get that black pair in as well because that is really looking good to me. I'm gonna wait for release because I picked these up on StockX for too much than I should have paid. But you know, gotta do some things for your broskies. But I'm gonna leave it there. My overall verdict is of course, an absolute buy. But comment down below broskies, what you're thinking about these Terrascape 97s. Does it do the OG silhouette any justice? And is this one of those sneakers that you have been waiting for? Or is this an absolute miss? Leave it all down below and I will pin the best comment. Anyways, broskies, thank you for watching. Thank you for stopping by. Don't forget to hit me up on IG as well in case you have any questions. And don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and share. And of course, till the next episode, take care.